Detergents are everywhere, in washing powders, in household cleaners, in skin creams and also in shower gels. Detergents have cleaning properties, make shampoos foam up and allows the production of cream due to their ability to emulsify. Up to now, most detergents are still produced from crude oil, which is a limited fossil raw material. However, customers are more and more searching for products with a higher sustainability and which are made from renewable resources. Such biosurfactants are already existing, but are often produced chemically. Nevertheless, already some are produced with microorganisms. At the Fraunhofer Institute for Interfacial Engineering and Biotechnology, we do our research on exactly these microbial biosurfactants. This offers the advantage that we can use local renewable raw materials, such as sugar or vegetable oils. We can produce our biosurfactants with fungi in a fermenter. Additionally, our biosurfactants have a number of different further properties. They are biodegradable and biocompatible. Moreover, our biosurfactants demonstrate a great structural variability. Some of them show interesting additional effects, such as skin regeneration or antimicrobial effects. We can offer biosurfactants with a high but also a low foaming effect. This means that foaming biosurfactants could be suitable for shampoos. In turn, non-foaming biosurfactants could be relevant for the use as machine dishwashing detergent. These properties also make them a perfect starting material for sustainable and personalized products. At Fraunhofer IGB, we are focusing on how to further optimize the microbial production of biosurfactants. We focus on certain glycolipids, like cellobios lipids and manosyl erythritol lipids, which we can produce from sugars and vegetable oils or biogenic residues. We use smut fungi of the family Ustilaginaceae that can produce cellobios and manosyl erythritol lipids in a high concentration. Examples are Ustilagomides and Mesomyces aphides. Some biosurfactants show antimicrobial properties and make them interesting for the use in clinical or pharmaceutical applications. Our microbial production is done in a bioreactor. We are currently working on further improving our production process. The next step is to separate the biosurfactant from the fermentation media in order to achieve a high quality and purity. Then we characterize the biosurfactants together with our partners. Here we evaluate if the biosurfactants are suitable for dishwashing liquids, in shampoos or in cosmetics. Finally, the biosurfactants can also be modified with enzymes in order to increase the water solubility, for instance. Up to this point, we can produce samples in high quality and make them available to our industrial partners. This allows us to discuss the potential and possible areas of applications already during the pre-industrial phase. Meanwhile, we were even able to produce biosurfactants from residues. One example is that we can produce sugar from wheat straw in our lignocellulose biorefinery. These sugars we can use for our fermentation processes. In long term, we want to produce biosurfactants that are even more sustainable. Like this, the raw material is not competing with food raw materials.